All right, ladies and gentlemen, what are we going to be doing today? Drum roll, please. Claude from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Hold on, wait, I gotta straighten this out. Hold on. The left, no, oh, it's slightly off center. Okay, okay, we'll deal with it. Lighting changes. Come on. Okay, now we get to start. <laughs> All right, first I start with a light airbrush of a pinkish tone. I like that for skin color. Then I go in for some shading, subtle shading, building up the layers slowly and slowly. Usually just stick with the same pink, just a slight darker color. That way it's not complicated shading of different colors. All right, now onto the nose. Uh, noses are pretty easy for me. Usually for anime though, it's kind of hard because you know you have the pointy nose, but I just finally figured out, wait, why don't I just do a regular nose? And it actually works pretty well. Uh, I love this. I like, I loved the game a lot. It was so, so much fun. The story, the characters, the, the permanent death system, which I also really, really love. It forced me to be much better at strategy. Um, great strategy, like percentage system. I loved the percentage system of hits and all that during battles. And we're flipping the canvas to see any mistakes that I didn't see before. Oh, look at that. Face reveal. <laughs> Gorgeous. All right, now onto the mouth. Uh, mouths are not my strong suit when it comes to portraits. I'm not very good at them and I don't know why. I guess because it's complicated shading and the way that it kind of like molds into the skin. Now doing the other eye. I don't wear makeup myself, but something strangely satisfying about putting makeup on especially on a portrait. Now onto the muddy hair. Don't worry, this will look a lot better <laughs> um, once I start putting detail in. I'm just basically doing some shading on everything just to get all the colors down. That way I know if they work together or not. Looks really bad right now. Don't worry, it'll look better. <laughs> all right, dimple, of course. We need a dimple for Claude. I don't think he has one, but it works. Now blocking in the colors for the I guess you'd call it a dress, I'm not sure. <laughs> but blocking in all the colors for Claude's outfit. Okay, time for a lunch break. And I'm back, oh my gosh, I forgot to put on my bracelet. The inconsistency is bothering me. Okay, we'll, we'll live with it, we'll live with it. All right, now shading the hand. This hand I did from reference. Uh, I took a picture of myself doing that, so you can't see the reference, sadly. Uh, and then the teeth, I added the little fangs because the straight teeth weren't doing it for me. It looked, something looked really weird about it. So I just added the fangs. I see that in the anime a lot. I think it looks, I think it just makes it look cooler. I don't know. Now onto the earring. Looks very nice. Just some detail there. Medium hard brush, nothing to really say. <laughs> now I'm doing an overlay over the skin just to give it some more color. Add some yellows and blues in it to make it a bit more lifelike. Going back to the mouth because it's irritating me. <laughs> Something's still a little awkward about it, but we'll just have to deal with it. That hand, that hand right there. Did all by myself from my imagination. It's pretty great. <laughs> uh, now, ooh, color dodge. Let's wait, hold on, slow motion. Let's slow this down. It's not as satisfying as I thought it'd be. Okay, we'll continue from there. <laughs> now onto the highlights. Also, my finger covers it. Not as satisfying either. Okay, <laughs> things are going great. It was at this point that I would normally stop, but since the pressure of YouTube allows me to go further and the fact that other people will be seeing this, we're continuing on to details, which I decided to do in the comfort of my bed. The long, excruciating details took me about an hour and a half. Doesn't sound that long, but it was, okay? It was just mindless, constant strokes, constant erasing, just over and over and over again, details. I felt like you were doing nothing, <laughs> but it paid off at the end. All right, now we can move to background, something that I hate with a huge passion, something that I suck at completely and still I'm not good at. Now, which background do you guys like better? Because I'm kind of on the fence about it. I feel like simple's better, so I'm just sticking with either black or white. So white, black, white, black. And here's the final product. I plan to do this kind of fan art video game, video games I played or video games I am playing once a week. And then I plan to release my single player content where I play single player games that I've never played before. Um, preferably weeb games, anime games, anything like that. I'm a, I'm a huge weeb. Uh, twice a week, uh, hour long content each probably. And so three videos a week total. So if you wanna stick around for that, I'd really love it if you did. Please feel free to subscribe and comment and like if you, if you want to. <laughs> I'm not good at asking people this stuff yet. This is the first time I've asked it and it feels really weird. <laughs> but whatever you guys wanna do, uh, please feel free to also leave a comment on what you think of the artwork. Um, criticism, I take criticism very well. I'm not the person to get easily offended over things. Uh, if you have something that you feel like would help me a lot, I would appreciate it very much. I am, I've entered art contests, I've done all that, I've lost, I've won. Uh, I know how subjective art is, so your comments and criticisms would be very much appreciated. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next video. Bye.